I'm cellist Johannes Moser and I am the pentatone artist of the season. I grew up in Munich as a son of two musicians. My mother is a singer and my father is a cellist. And when I was five years old, I started playing the violin. And hands down, I was the world's worst violinist. And so I needed a reason to get away from the violin and uh, the cello seemed like a good idea. I never really felt that there was a lot of pressure from my parents since they're doing the same thing as I do. Um, I rather felt that they um, showed me a very natural way of living a musician's life. So there is music, but then there is also the aspect of free time. And then there is the aspect of really turning off the music and, and being, in, being in silence, actually. I personally love silence as much as I love music. As soon as I sat down with a cello when I, when I had stopped with a violin, um, I felt the deep um, vibrations that this instrument is, is able to do and, and already as a child um, I remember being totally mesmerized by the deep frequencies that this instrument um, can project on your body and it's it's actually a very physical experience so whenever I come home from a vacation I haven't played for maybe 10 days I physically miss the vibration of the instrument on me um, and it's it's something that of course makes this instrument much more than just a tool to produce sound, but it's something that is part of my body, it's part of my physical everyday experience. Whenever I play on the cello, I, I feel like it's, it's just an extension of my body that I'm using. So much of my music making, of course, is professionalized. Like, I know exactly how to prepare for a concert, I know exactly how to structure a practice day. Um, but then there are moments when music surprises me. And I actually, you know, like I, I might be having a, a long day, or the travel was really hard, or I, I'm in jet lag, and, and um, I sit down behind the cello, and suddenly the music starts carrying me. And um, to after all these years to experience that music still has such an immediate effect on me is, is beautiful. I'm playing on a Andrea Guaneri um, cello, uh, which was built in 1694 in Cremona. And this is from a private collection. I'm very blessed and honored to be playing this instrument. Um, these instruments, of course, are very rare and therefore incredibly expensive. And um, musicians really rely on sponsors and on private investors um, in order to, uh, to play these kind of instruments. And I've been playing this instrument now for about uh, five or six years. And um, it's really like a personal relationship that you have with another person. Like with any other person, there will be things that you love about that person, and there will be things where you're like, ah, there's room for improvement. Um, so you have to get to know each other, you have to get to know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and quirks, and um, sometimes failures. But um, the more you get to know an instrument, same as the more you get to know a person, um, you start also not only love the strengths, but also you start loving the weaknesses. Of course, being a Guaneri it doesn't have so many weaknesses, it actually has more strengths. <laughs> so it's, it's an amazing instrument. When you play on such an intensive schedule like I do, it's important to take time off, obviously. Like, you need to find a distance also to the music so that you're not always in the same mode and, and for me the best thing to do is just go on my mountain bike go into the mountains go into nature uh, go hiking go to a place where I am really unimportant and and you know when you when you're hiking through the Alps and, and and you look around and you look at these mountains that's been there for for millions of years and they will continue to be there for for millions of years you're like yeah, maybe you know it's not such a big problem that uh, I had I had a quarrel with a flight attendant, you know, I mean, life will, <laughs> life will go on. Super, that's good. Ah, sehr, sehr gut.
part of my job that I'm extremely passionate about is teaching. I'm a professor at the Cologne Musikhochschule and through teaching I've really come back to to the music again, which sounds very weird because I'm 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 enveloped in music all the time. But you have to imagine when you play pieces all the time, like the 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 concertos, for example, that I'm having in my first disc for Pentatone, the Dvorak concerto and the Lalo concerto. I mean, these are pieces that I've been playing all my life. And to somehow rediscover the music and look at the music with fresh eyes, it is so helpful to go through this music with my students and to experience this music through their ears and through, through their fresh um, conception of the music. It's not a one-way street. I learn a lot from my students and then I'm very... Um, they probably don't know that, but I'm very grateful to them. <laughs> Making a recording is completely different from playing concerts. I mean, in a concert, you you have the adrenaline going, you you have the excitement going, you have you have an audience. Hopefully, when you create a recording, you are trying, of course, to create that exciting sound that you have in a concert. But also, you need to make sure that it is, in a way, timeless because people will listen to a recording hopefully over and over again. I. I'm incredibly excited to be working with Pentatone because you know when you when you are the soloist of an orchestra you are in the middle of the sound you have the orchestra behind you you are listening to your own instrument like you are engulfed in sound and when you have the surround sound experience that Pentatone offers you 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 can have that same experience. You can be in the sound. You can be in the middle of the action. And I think that is something that is very much in the spirit of our time. I mean, we want, we are all looking for immersive experiences, you know, and, and Pentatone offers these experiences and I'm, I'm so excited to be part uh, of this process. Mm -hmm.